So previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've explored each and every one of the Smiling Critter characters. Throughout this story arc, our main protagonists found themselves up against the evil versions of the Smiling Critters, all except Dog Day and Kick and Chicken who were originally back to their friendly selves. Near the end of that story arc, the player helped Dog Day change all the critters back from evil to good. And just when they thought their encounter with the Smiling Critters was over, they finally ran into Catnap and they were thrown into a whole nother situation. Throughout the two-part finale, the player had to survive multiple attacks from Catnap. In the end, the player managed to outsmart him and finish him off for good. Finally, it was finished and the player could be on their way. But little did they know that their ordeal with the Smiling Critters was far from over. Soon, the player would meet a new batch of Smiling Critters. But these Smiling Critters in particular certainly have nothing to smile about. So in the last ARG video, it states that the catnap toys were causing horrible nightmares in children due to a defect in its lavender spray. So Playtime Co. decided to recall all the toys and remove Catnap from the toy line and the cartoon. But with Catnap gone, what new character would replace him? Well, it turns out that Playtime Co. designed a number of new characters that would take his place. But for some reason, they never saw the light of day. Sometimes they wouldn't go so well in the product testing groups, and sometimes the successful characters would just up and disappear. It was almost like something was mysteriously stopping them from ever taking Catnap's spot. So all these rejected and lost toys were hidden deep underground, and sadly enough, they would be forever known as the Forgotten Critters. So the first Forgotten Critter we'll be looking at is Patience Panda. So Patience Panda was one of the new concept smiling critters to replace Catnap. She is coloured in a white and charcoal colour scheme, and her special medallion was that of the yin and yang symbol. Her scent is Lotus Flower. So, Patience Panda was all about peace, prosperity, and balance. Hence the ancient Chinese yin and yang medallion on her zipper, Patience Panda believed everything and everyone should be perfectly balanced. With a balance of both good and bad, everything would eventually even out. So, Patience Panda was originally meant to be the chilled out character of the group. She would be calm and understanding to any of her friends that were having a bad day. She looked like a promising candidate to replace Catnap. She tested well with the product groups and was liked by many, but unfortunately, for some unforeseen reason, she never made it to the final toy line. So now she dwells underground with all the other forgotten critters. And soon enough, the player will remember her, that's for sure. Speaking of, we now return to the player. They've been making their way through the factory for some time now, and so far, they haven't run into any evil toys as of yet. But they come across something that looks equally as dangerous. They find themselves at a large ravine with only a skinny wooden plank to get across. It seems like this is the only way forward and they don't have a choice. So step by step, the player walks along the plank. With each step they take, the plank creaks and cracks. They take one more step forward and the skinny wooden board breaks in two. The player falls all the way to the bottom of the deep dark ravine. As they fall, they grab a hanging pipe with their green grab hand. The green grab hand unravels all of its cable and the player lands safely on the ground. But all that tension in their body weight and the sudden drop has stretched out the cable. The green hand won't retract back and they need to unattach it. Once again, they are now only left with the blue hand. Hopefully they can find another one to replace it soon. But the main problem they face is getting back to the surface. It seems that they've fallen pretty far down. They'll need to search this area to find a way back up. As they wander around this subterranean area, they get the feeling that something is down here with them. They need to get out of here before they find out what it is. The player comes across a roller door with a blue hand switch. Luckily for them, they still have their blue hand. So they activate the door and wait for it to open. As the roller door opens up, it reveals what's on the other side. Standing in front of the player was the monstrous version of Patience Panda. She was definitely not her peaceful self anymore. She has grown much larger, and her mouth is filled with a mess of jagged pointy teeth. She walks towards the player, and they need to quickly make a break for it. The player needs to find a place to hide. With Patience Panda on their tail, she is sure to tear them to pieces if she gets a hold of them. The player quickly finds a drain hole and crawls through it. They just get away from Patience Panda, and there's no way she can reach the player. But she stays there and waits patiently. The player has no choice but to crawl through the drain and exit out the other side. They need to get back to that roller door that they open, but they'll have to make it back another way. But they need to be careful of Patience Panda roaming around. It seems she's totally off balance. 
She's let the bad outweigh the good, and she's completely lost her calm and peaceful demeanour. What on earth has happened to her? The player can only assume that this must be the handiwork of Catnap. Just like when he corrupted all the other smiling critters, he must have done the same to the forgotten critters as well. But since Catnap is no more, this must be the last character he corrupted. The player really hopes that this is the case. Finally, it looks like the player is right above the roller door. They just need to drop down this manhole and they would land right in front of it. But they would need to be quick, because patients would be waiting for them as soon as they drop down. The player jumps down the hole and lands in front of the door. But standing right behind them was Patience. The player runs through the door and makes a break for it. Patience runs after them and the chase is on. The player needs to run as fast as they can. If they stop at any time, it would all be over. They run through multiple pipes and tunnels, and leap over ledges and obstacles. They finally make it to the last roller door. They just need to make it through and shut it behind them. They activate the switch and time it perfectly. They manage to slide right underneath the door as it slams shut. They can hear Patience Panda trying to smash open the door. For the meantime, it's closed shut, but the player doesn't know how long it'll be shut for. They decide to move forward and hopefully find a way out of this underground area. Something tells them there's more trouble waiting for them ahead, but as to what it is, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Patience Panda would be a great first addition to the Forgotten Critters roster of characters. I think that a panda is a good mix of cute and adorable, and their evil side would be scary and dangerous. But Patience Panda wouldn't be the only Forgotten Critter we have in store. There's still more to be revealed, so stay tuned to see the next Forgotten Critter. So as we covered in our last video, Playtime Co. designed a number of new Smiling Critter characters that would replace Catnap. With the recall of all the Catnap toys, and the removal of his character from the TV show, Playtime Co. scrambled quickly to come up with as many new designs as they could. Some of these ideas were great, and some others not so much. But regardless, for some unknown reason, these characters never saw the light of day. But an example of one great idea was Sweet Sheep. A sweetheart of a character, Sweet Sheep is the outgoing listener of the critters always being the one to go out and observe the outdoors, often has a tendency to be a bit rambunctious when excited. Scent Sage. So hence the name, he seems to be quite a sweet and outgoing character, and Sweet Sheep was definitely a shoe in to replace Catnap as the new character. But unfortunately, that never happened. Just before the announcement of his acceptance into the Critic Crew, he mysteriously disappeared. No one knows exactly what happened. Most of the workers blame Catnap for his disappearance but it's not known exactly who is behind this incident. And now poor Sweet Sheep dwells in the depths of the factory. Will he be as sweet as he once was? The player will find out soon enough. Speaking of, we now return to the player. After searching around this dark forgotten area, they still haven't found a way back to the surface. But it looks like they found a new abandoned location. Maybe there's a way up in this area. This place seems to be an old sawmill. Back in the day, Playtime Co. produced a number of old wooden toys, and this was the place where they would process all the wood. All around them were large machines with multiple saws. These saws would have sliced through hundreds to thousands of wooden logs every day. The player had no idea that a sawmill was even down here. It looks like these machines haven't been active for quite a while, but the player gets the sense that someone is down here with them. They need to find a way back to the surface quickly before they find out who it is. As they make their way through this area, they get a glimpse of something in the distance. It seems like whoever it is, they appear to be hiding from the player. That's kind of strange. It's usually the other way around. It doesn't seem like this toy character is hostile at all. Maybe they can show the player how to get out of this sawmill and back to the surface. So the player slowly starts to track down this mysterious character. Every time the player moves forward, this shy toy backs away. Eventually, the player finds them in a secluded area and they can get a better look at them. This smiling critter was quite different from his cartoon and toy version. He was much taller and hunched over, but the most noticeable detail was his horns. They've grown so long that they've pierced straight through his body. Sweet Sheep can't move his head and he seems to be in a lot of pain. He must have been down here for quite a while, and all this time spent down in the darkness has changed and morphed his body. The player can't leave him like this. They need to help poor Sweet Sheep, and hopefully in return, he would help the player get out of here. But how is the player going to remove these overgrown horns out of his body? It seems like they would need to be cut and trimmed. 
but they couldn't use the large timber saws for such a delicate job. They would run the risk of causing much more damage to poor Sweet Sheep. But it seems like Sweet Sheep has an idea. He prompts the player to follow him through the sawmill. Maybe he knows something that can help, but he needs the player's help as well. So the player and Sweet Sheep make their way through the sawmill. They need to be careful of multiple dangerous obstacles in their way. Some parts of this area are still operational, and that means the saws are still operational as well. Both the player and Sweet Sheep need to dodge the active saw blades and falling wooden logs. At some obstacles, the player would need to press a series of buttons in order to cut the power. The saw blades would stop and retract, and both of them could pass through safely. Eventually, after making it through all the deadly obstacles, they arrive at the equipment room. This is where all the workers would equip their grab packs and get to work. But in the sawmill, these workers had a different kind of grab pack. These were special saw hand grab packs that were used for cutting all the wood. They had an extendable saw blade and could be used for more precise cutting. And luckily for the player, there was one saw attachment left. But it was locked behind a case and the grab switch was damaged. The player needs to find another way that they can retrieve this saw hand. They soon realise they need to reroute the power in order to overload the switch. With enough power supplied, it releases the lock and the player equips the saw hand. Finally, they can help Sweet Sheep and trim off those overgrown horns. But this wouldn't be so simple. The player needs to be extra careful to keep the blade still on his horns and not let it slide off and damage him. In order to do this, they would need to control the speed of the blade. If they go too fast, it wouldn't end very well. So the blade starts soaring away at Sweet Sheep's horns, and the player is being extra careful to keep them straight. The horns are made of an extra tough material, and it's definitely a challenge to cut through them. The saw blade starts overheating and smoking. Finally, the first horn has been trimmed. And now they move on to the second one. The saw blade is looking pretty beat up. Hopefully it can get through the last horn. It starts sawing away, and finally the last horn is trimmed. But as for the saw hand, it's totally ruined. The player throws it away, and now all that's left to do is extract these horn segments. The player grabs on and pulls them out of Sweet Sheep's body. Finally, he can move around comfortably. He feels so much better and is completely indebted to the player. In order to show his thanks, he leads the player to the exit door. Finally, they can get out of this sawmill and continue their journey to the surface. They say their goodbyes to Sweet Sheep and head on to the next area. The player was lucky this time that they encountered a friendly character like Sweet Sheep. But as to if the next one they'll meet will be the same, they'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Sweet Sheep would be a great character to add to the Forgotten Critters. It's pretty awesome that this secret character was made by Amber Loves Bugs and is modelled after Sheep Rampage. I think it would have been pretty cool if this character was included in the original lineup of the Smiling Critter characters. But even so, it's still fun to imagine what his role could be if he was included in the game. But regardless, I think that Sweet Sheep is definitely an awesome character, that's for sure. It was quite fortunate that Sweet Sheep was a friendly character, but now the player wouldn't be so lucky. Little do they know, they are about to face someone who is the complete opposite. Someone who will stop at nothing to get their revenge. So now we come to our next Forgotten Critter, and this character is called Bull Bullino. We all know that if a group does not have a big member, it's not a good team. In the Critters, there is the Strong Bull, a real friend, but above all, a professional in music. He is very delicate with his instruments and teaches his friends how to use them correctly. Scent Chocolate. So from what it says in his bio, Bull Bullino would have been one of the strongest smiling critters if he was chosen to replace Catnap. He seemed to be quite a popular candidate, and everyone loved the smell of chocolate as well. But unfortunately for Bull Bullino, he was never chosen to replace Catnap. In fact, it was his fight with Catnap that ruined everything for him. But how did this tragic fight come to be? Well, it all started when Catnap's recall was made public. The factory had all the replacement characters at the ready, and they just needed to choose one. But little did everyone know what Catnap had planned for the critters and everyone at the factory. As we all know in this storyline, Catnap became increasingly jealous and planned to corrupt all the critters and capture Dog Day and lock him away. And sadly, this plan was actually successful. But before Catnap could execute this plan, someone actually stood in his way. And that someone was Bull Bullino. He overheard Catnap's evil plan and he knew he had to try and stop him. He confronted Catnap and pleaded with him to not go through with it. But unfortunately, Catnap's mind was already made up. 
With no further option, Bull Bullino tried to stop Catnap by force. A struggle ensued and Catnap eventually got the upper hand. Catnap striked Bullino with his claws and cut off his arm and leg. He then threw Bully down into the dark depths. As he lay there on the ground, surrounded by darkness, he truly thought this was the end for him. Just as he began to fade away, an unlikely character came to his rescue. The prototype could see that he was still alive and decided to restore Bull Bullino. They gathered multiple mechanical parts and worked on his new body for weeks. And finally, in the end, the prototype had gifted Bull Bullino his brand new body. He was stronger, faster, and better than he had ever been before. And with this glorious gift that they had bestowed upon him, Bull Bullino would forever worship the prototype. He was brainwashed into believing that all his critter friends should become one with the prototype. If they all had strong mechanical bodies like him, they would be absolutely perfect. But even more than wanting to convert all the other critters, he wanted revenge for what Catnap had done to him. And with his new mechanical body, he would finally be able to take him on. But as we fast forward to the present day, the players already defeated Catnap and saved the critters. But Bubulino didn't like this at all. The player had taken his revenge away from him. He was meant to be the one to defeat Catnap and save the day. But now Bullino will direct all his hatred and anger towards the player. His new plan was to defeat the player so no one could stop him. He would convert all the critters to the prototype's mechanical wisdom and they would finally all know true power and eventually the new and improved critters could rule the factory and make it their own. So now we return back to the player. After leaving the sawmill, they find themselves in a dark cold area. It feels like they're going down even further, but that can't be right. They just have to keep pushing forward and eventually... Out of nowhere, the large mechanical version of Bull Bullino charges through the wall. He grabs the player and holds them up to his face. What on earth has happened to this smiling critter? It was like they were half toy, half machine. His arm and leg were made of machine parts and his eye was now a red glowing lens. Bully tosses the player aside like they weighed hardly nothing. He starts moving towards them as they lay on the ground. The player has to get up and start running. If they take any more damage from this mechanical bull, it would all be over for them. So in this gameplay segment, the player needs to keep moving and find the exit. Bull Bully No would always be making his way towards the player and would never stop. The player can escape into multiple different rooms to get a moment's break and think about their next move. But it wouldn't last long as Bull Bullino can break through any wall in this area. So he could breach rooms and ambush the player. Bully wouldn't be charging after the player, but he'd always be moving briskly towards them. It seems like whatever they do, they can't shake this persistent mechanical bull. No matter where they go, he'll be right there behind them. The player needs to come up with an idea if they ever want to stop him and get out of here. Bull Bullino is strong, but how strong is he? Maybe there could be a way to stop him from moving. The player noticed while they were running around this area that there was a large hydraulic press. Maybe if they lure Bully into the press, they could force all that immense weight down on him. But they doubt he would just walk right into the press. They need to find a way to trick him into walking underneath it. And the player has an idea. For the time being, Bully has lost sight of the player. He's still searching and the player needs to keep hidden, but they should have enough time to make the decoy. Throughout this area, they have noticed that Bull Bullino has it out for Catnap. It seems that he hates Catnap very much. So what if he saw what he thinks is Catnap underneath the press? Maybe it would be enough to make him go under. So the player makes a very quick and rough decoy of Catnap. They found on the ground a paper mask of catnap and stapled it to the body. It wasn't their best work, but it was bound to do the trick. So they plant the decoy and wait for Bull Bullino to take notice of it. It doesn't take long for him to see the decoy peeking out of the hydraulic press. Bully couldn't believe his eyes. Was that catnap? It had to be. Finally, he could get the revenge he so desperately craved. The moment he stepped inside the press, he knew it was a trap, but it was already too late. The player had pressed the button and the hydraulic press starts pushing down. Bull Bullino tries to push against it with all his might. He pushes back so hard that the press jams and stops moving. But that also means that he is stuck underneath the press. Finally, the player has done it. Bull Bullino wasn't going anywhere. 
The player was free to leave this area without Bullino following them. As they continue to make their way to the surface, they hope there aren't any more forgotten critters waiting for them in the shadows. But as to what we'll encounter next, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Bull Bullino is an excellent character to add to the Forgotten Critters. I think it's a pretty interesting story element to have a critter that has been influenced by the prototype, and for once they weren't used as spare parts, but instead they were transformed into a twisted mechanical version of themselves. But something tells me this won't be the last we see of Bull Bullino. He still has his master plan in mind, and he won't stop until he's seen it through. But now we come to the next Forgotten Critter character. And this character is Shy Shelby. So Shy Shelby is a cute and cuddly turtle smiling critter, and hence the name is quite shy. Shy Shelby. Sometimes it isn't very easy to come out of your shell, but it's okay to be nervous. All of Shelby's friends comfort her and let her know everything's okay. Although Shelby is scared of a lot of things, she'll never be afraid with her friends by her side. Scent Seabreeze. So, Shy Shelby was another concept smiling critter that was in the running to replace Catnap. But sadly, poor Shelby wasn't too popular with all the test groups. It seems that the idea for a shy and fearful character just wasn't that exciting or appealing. So, Playtime Co. decided to scrap the character and place her in the rejected toy storage area. Eventually, the factory needed more space and they moved Shelby down to the depths to be forgotten forever. Being all alone in the darkness was the last thing that Shelby needed. She was terrified of everything that was down there. Every little sound she heard would send her back inside her shell. Being afraid all the time eventually turned her mad. Enough time had passed that she eventually became just as scary looking as the things she was afraid of. Shelby also grew more and more brave. So brave that she would eliminate anything that had the potential to scare her. But it doesn't mean she still wasn't afraid. Any loud noises would quickly send her back inside her shell. But once she realised what that thing was, she would destroy it so it wouldn't scare her ever again. And unfortunately for the player, Shy Shelby wouldn't hesitate to destroy them as well. Speaking of the player, they now find themselves in a new area of the Dark Forgotten Depths. This place seems to be an old abandoned delivery centre. This would be where they would package all the products and send them out. But there doesn't seem to be any boxes or packages around. Maybe this place has gotten cleared out a while ago. Regardless, the player needs to continue their journey back to the surface. They locate the exit, but there's one small problem. The exit is locked with a big weight scale. This must have been a cruel way to keep the employees working extra hard. They wouldn't be able to leave the delivery centre until they made their quota. And then, and only then, will the door unlock and open. So the player needs to look for a bunch of boxes to stack on the scale to open the door. But like they just realised, there aren't any boxes around this area. The player would need to use something else instead. As they search around this area, they come across something quite strange. It looks like a turtle shell. In fact, there were multiple turtle shells scattered throughout this area. They seem heavy enough to tip the scale and would work perfectly. So the player would have to drag each of the shells back to the scale one by one. They would then place them on the scale and they would be a little bit closer to getting out of here shell by shell. Eventually the player rounds up all the shells and places them on the scale. But it's still not enough to unlock the door. They would need something much larger and heavier to tip these scales. So they head back out and see what they can find. And that's when they see it. This shell was much larger than all the others. This large shell would be more than enough to finally unlock the door. The player approaches it and realises that this shell is occupied. Standing in front of them was the twisted, crazed version of Shy Shelby. What on earth has happened to her? Her body has overgrown and hunched over, her hands have now turned to the claws, and her face is a terrifying sight to behold. Shy Shelby approaches the player slowly. She has that look in her eye that tells the player they are in grave danger. In a sudden panic, the player accidentally launches their grab pack. It flies past Shelby and knocks a metal pipe off a nearby shelf. The pipe falls to the ground with a loud crash. The sudden noise quickly sends Shelby back into her shell. It seems that she's afraid of loud sounds. With Shelby back in her shell, the player starts dragging her back to the scales. They didn't have a choice. It was the only way they were getting out of here. But before they know it, Shelby emerges from her shell once again. The player has to quickly make a loud noise again or else it'll be the end of them. 
Luckily, they find another shelf filled with junk. They quickly knock it over and once again, Shelby retreats back inside her shell. The player was almost there, only a few more meters to go, but Shelby keeps emerging out of her shell and trying to attack the player. They need to find a long-term solution to keep her in her shell. After some quick thinking, the player has got an idea. What if they had a consistent loop of loud noises? What if they could keep Shelby inside her shell for good? Well, the player's plan is to activate the alarm system. Hopefully that would be loud enough to work. So the player lets go of the shell for the time being and sets out to find the alarm system. While searching around, they would need to be careful because Shelby would have come back out of their shell by now and she'll be roaming around this area searching for the player. Eventually the player finds the alarm system control panel. They need to press the right buttons in succession in order to activate it. As they reach the last button, they see that Shelby is right behind them. They turn around and face this mad turtle. Just before she attacks, the player presses the final button. The loud alarm system goes off and frightens Shelby. She quickly slinks back into her shell and will stay there as long as the alarm is going off. The player can finally drag her shell all the way back to the exit. They load on her large shell and the door opens up. Finally, the player can get out of here. But as soon as the door opens up, they notice the alarm system has stopped as well. And right behind them is Shelby, who is out of their shell once again. The player rushes through the exit and makes a break for it. Shy Shelby rushes after them and the chase is now on. The player quickly needs to find a place to hide and get away from Shelby. She'd be close behind them and will attack the player if they don't hurry up. Finally, the player finds an air vent and rushes through. Finally, they are safe from Shy Shelby. There was no way she was going to fit in this air vent with that large shell of hers. So the player says goodbye to Shelby and moves on. As they crawl through the vent, the player wonders what other horrible forgotten critters they'll see next. As to who that'll be, they'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Shy Shelby would be a great addition to the Forgotten Critters roster of characters. I think that a turtle character would definitely fit in and be pretty cool to see. I think she could add some interesting gameplay elements and keep the player on their toes, that's for sure. And the next unfortunate character we're about to meet will become one of these altered critters. So this specific character is named Cranky Krabby. This unique looking smiling critter is an unreleased character that was in the running to replace Catnap. But like all the others, unfortunately he wasn't chosen. It seems that people thought his design was a little too unique to fit with all the other characters. They also thought that his personality trait didn't really fit in well with the happy vibe of the toy line. Cranky Krabby. This is one crab that you don't want to tick off. With his incredibly short fuse, who knows when he'll lose his temper. But no matter how angry he gets, he'll always have his friends to calm him down. Scent Cinnamon. So it seems that the idea of a grumpy character wasn't received well at all. So the company quickly decided to scrap the idea and toss Cranky away into the depths. Of course, this made Cranky Krabby incredibly angry. Whilst in a fit of rage, he destroyed anything that got in his way. There was nothing that could calm him down. And he didn't want to be calmed down. Angry is what he is. And angry is what he'll stay. But that anger would only grow stronger after he met a special someone in the depths. And that someone was Bull Bullino. Bully didn't want to calm Cranky down. He instead saw great potential. With all that rage built up inside of him, Bully wanted to find a way to harness it and use it to his advantage. He promised Cranky Krabby that he would improve him and make him even more powerful and destructive than he ever imagined. Cranky agreed and Bully took him to see the prototype. And after all the work was done, the prototype's gift to Krabby was quite destructive indeed. He now had the ability to produce explosive bombs inside of his body, and he would launch them out of his mouth. With this new destructive power, Cranky Krabby could unleash as much rage as he wanted. Nothing could stand in his way. Any annoyance or obstacle could be destroyed in a matter of seconds. But eventually he would make a grave mistake. Cranky Krabby produced a bomb so large that it got lodged in his mouth. He couldn't open his jaw or release the bomb, so it will be stuck there until it eventually goes off. Cranky Krabby unintentionally made himself into a ticking time bomb, and as to when this bomb blows, it's anyone's guess. So now we return back to the player. After escaping the clutches of Shy Shelby, they continue their journey back to the surface. 
The area they find themselves in seems pretty run down. Half of this place has been destroyed, and the player has to swing from ledge to ledge. It's almost like this place has been hit by a bomb. Even the walls in this place have been destroyed. Was Bull Bullino smashing through the walls again? No, this looks different. The walls were almost burnt and damaged. In fact, it does look like a bomb went off in this area. Regardless, the player needs to get out of here before they end up being destroyed as well. Eventually, the player finds what they are looking for. Finally, a way up. It looks like this ladder could lead them to the upper levels or even the surface. So they begin to climb the ladder and find out where it takes them. They climb up and reach another level. It looks like the ladder didn't reach the top, but it's still higher than they were before. But like always, there was a bit of a problem. The way forward was blocked by rubble. This must have been caused by all the explosives in the area. It seems the player will have to find a way past all this rubble. So they walk through the hole in the left wall and see where it takes them. They enter into an open area and don't see much. Then all of a sudden, a large red claw slams down towards them. The player dodges it and turns around to see who it is. And standing behind them was Cranky Krabby. This large, angry looking creature was trying to destroy them. But what happened to this smiling critter? He has sharp metal teeth and it looks like a bomb is lodged in his eye. What's even stranger is that it looks like there's a large bomb lodged in his mouth. How did that get there? The player has no idea how that could have happened. Regardless, Cranky Krabby sure does look angry. In fact, he gets so angry that the fuse on the giant bomb starts to spark. This can't be good. The bomb inside him was about to blow. The player quickly backs away from Cranky Krabby and something strange happens. The fuse suddenly goes out. It must only light up when Krabby is super angry. And the player being near him was the cause of that anger. So the player needs to keep their distance or else they'll be blown to smithereens. But Cranky Krabby keeps advancing towards them. If he gets close enough, it will be all over. But this does give the player an idea. Maybe they can lure him to the rubble blocking the way. And hopefully he would detonate and clear a path. It was a dangerous idea, but it was worth a shot. So the player continues backing up, always keeping an eye on Cranky. They need to loop back around to the rubble and make sure they get close enough so he explodes. But how was the player going to escape this explosion? They would need to figure that out when the time was right. So whilst keeping Krabby at a distance, they also have to be careful of his strong claws. The longer this goes on, the angrier he is going to get. Sometimes he'll charge towards the player and try to snap them up in his claws. And whilst they're trapped in those strong vice-like claws, the bomb would eventually go off. So the player needs to dodge those attacks when they happen. Eventually the player leads Cranky Krabby back to the rubble. It was now or never. They needed to make sure the bomb went off and they could get to safety. When Cranky Krabby was in the correct position, the player put their plan into action. They quickly shoot their grab hand towards the bomb that's lodged in his eye. They grab onto it and pluck it out. Cranky Krabby is now furious. The fuse for the bomb burns even brighter and faster than before. The player throws the bomb directly at Krabby's mouth and just before the two bombs collide, the player quickly climbs back down the ladder. Then suddenly they hear a large explosion followed by a giant fireball. They did it. It seems Krabby had finally exploded and hopefully cleared the way. The player climbs back up and sure enough, the way ahead was cleared. But there was no sign of Cranky Krabby. An explosion of that size would have surely destroyed him. But regardless, the player moves on and makes their way to the next area. Hopefully soon they can find a way out of this place and get to the upper areas. But the higher they surface, the more critters they will encounter. And as to who the next forgotten critter will be, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Cranky Krabby is a pretty interesting character to add to our roster of characters. He offers a challenging gameplay mechanic where they can't get too close or he'll explode. I also think his design is pretty interesting and I think he would fit in awesome with these forgotten critters. He would always try to get close to the player and when he did, he would surely go out with a bang. Now they continue their journey to the surface and hopefully they won't meet any more of these forgotten critters. But the player could only be so lucky as the next character they'll face is sure to be a challenging one. And this character in particular is named Fixit Fox. This unreleased smiling critter is a friendly fox who is very good at fixing and building things. Fixit Fox. Need a hand? Not to worry. This handyman is a jack of all trades. If it needs fixing, he can do it. If it needs building, he can do it. He can do it all. There's nothing he can't fix and there's nobody he won't help. Scent Sandalwood. So this helpful little fox was surely one of the best candidates to replace Catnap. 
It seems like a good fit for the Smiling Critic crew, and he would have been an interesting character to showcase in the cartoon as well. There could have been many different episodes where Fix-It Fox would have to fix something or build something for the other critters. The company was set on including him in the final toy line, but unfortunately that never happened. No one knows why. There wasn't any records at the factory to what happened to Fix-It Fox. Just one day, he suddenly disappeared, without a trace. To be honest, the other Forgotten Critters haven't seen him down in the depths either. It seems wherever he is, Fix-It Fox is one elusive toy, that's for sure. So now we return back to the player. After clearing the block tunnel with Cranky Krabby and his giant bomb, they now find themselves travelling through a series of passageways. Where they lead to, they were unsure. But it seems like the only way forward, and they need to What on earth is happening? Was the player dreaming again? Is this catnaps doing? It can't be. This seems different. It wasn't like a dream this time. It feels like the player is inside their own head. Or at least, someone else's head. And what does that mean? Catch the fox? Is that some way out of this strange place? It seems all the player can do is wait and see what happens next. The player almost got the toy version of Fix-It Fox, but it got away at the last second. They need to catch this toy or else they'll be trapped here, forever doomed to be shown vision after vision on an endless loop. They wait for something to happen and all of a sudden they are shown the next vision. Damn, they almost got it. Fix-It Fox is definitely a cunning character. It's almost like he's toying with them. They need to be quicker and take no chances. The player waits for the next vision and gets ready. Finally, the player has got a hold of this annoying Fix-It Fox toy. It thought it could fool the player with a cheap illusion, but little did it know, the player has dealt with something similar with Catnap's nightmares in the past. And now, they can tell what's truly real and what's not. Finally, they were back in reality and it was all over. Suddenly, some sharp claws reach out and grab the toy. They tear its head right off and throw it away. The real Fix-It Fox appears and slowly returns to their regular self. It seems that since he's destroyed this strange toy, he is now awoken out of his hypnotic state. 
He doesn't seem to be a threat. In fact, he looks thankful that the player has helped him. Fix-It Fox leaves the player alone and walks off back into the darkness. The player cannot explain what had just happened. In all that time, they haven't even taken a step forward. Everything they encountered happened in this hallway. Regardless, they move on and continue their journey out of here. The player hopes they never have a strange interaction like this again, but they know that this ordeal won't be over anytime soon. And as to who they'll face next, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that a secret character like Fix-It Fox would definitely be a great character to include in the roster. I think that he adds a lot of mystery to this chapter and his secret backstory and motives are quite interesting. He's definitely a strange and trippy character that the player would never forget. But now the player moves on and continues their journey to the surface. And little did they know, they were about to meet the next forgotten critter. So when the smiling critters first hit the toy shelves, they were a great success. Everyone had their favourite character, and some children even demanded they have them all. Even though the sales were great, Playtime Co. needed to capitalise off the Smiling Critters with a brand new idea, and this led to the creation of the Mystery Critters. These special Smiling Critters were available in four different colours and designs. Each one was packaged inside a brittle plastic egg, and hence the name, it was a mystery as to which critter you would get. Each of these Mystery Critters weren't exactly a distinct animal, they were just simply known as Critters. And as for their names, it was up to the children to name them with their special hatch certificate that came with each egg. These mystery characters were also smaller than the original toys. And all the characters had the same scent, but a different design feature like wings, funny antenna, spikes, and a large tongue. Mystery Critters. Which one will you get? You don't know yet. Open up and see which character it could be. Scent, Tutti Fruity. So on the surface, the Mystery Critters seemed like a good idea, but this product line didn't last very long. With only four characters in the series, and what you got was left to chance, this led to some problems. Customers would complain about getting multiple of the same Mystery Critter again and again, and Playtime Co. did not offer any refunds for this issue. Eventually this led to the Mystery Critters being discontinued. So now, all the critters and all the eggs have been left to gather dust in the depths of the factory. It was cold and dark down there and these small little critters surely wouldn't survive for very long. Well, that's what they were told anyways. These little mystery critters eventually ran into Bull Bullino. He convinced them that it was too dangerous down here for toys of their size. He explained that separately they were all weak, but together they were strong. And what's even better, if they were all one, they would be even stronger. So they were taken to the prototype and became altered. The mystery critters were sealed inside a giant egg, and over time, they developed inside it and grew stronger. Eventually, enough time had passed, and they would hatch from that egg. And what would be inside would be a mystery. So now we return back to the player. They're still stuck in the depths, and they're wondering if they'll ever get out of here. They've now come across yet another obstacle in their way. The way forward is locked behind this large door, and they need to find the key. They can see a message written on a close-by wall. It reads, Break the eggs to find the key. Eggs. What does it mean by eggs? Regardless, the player would find out soon enough. As they search around this area, they come across their first egg. They break it open, and there's nothing inside. They need to find more of the eggs and break them open. The key has to be inside one, and they'll keep smashing open the eggs until they find it. So the player walks around this area, finding multiple eggs and breaking them open. So far, they've had no luck, but they are sure to find the right egg sooner or later. Speaking of eggs, they come across quite a large one. Whatever was inside has hatched out already. What could have been inside an egg this large? Whatever it is, the player didn't want to hang around to find out. As they keep breaking open eggs, they hear something in the distance. It sounds like it's getting closer. They look up and see a monstrous creature staring back at them. It leaps down and lands right behind the player. What is this thing? It doesn't look like any smiling critter they've ever seen before. It looks to be made up of multiple different body parts. This thing is truly a monster. The mystery critter looks around at all the broken eggshells in the area. They soon realise what the player was doing. This stranger has come along and destroyed all of their precious eggs. This was unforgivable, and the mystery critter won't let the player escape. They start charging after the player and try to attack them. The player makes a run for it and tries to get to safety. They finally find a place to hide for the time being, but the mystery critter was still lurking around this area and searching for the player. 
the player needs to get out of here before they run into the mystery critter again. But they still haven't found the key yet, they need to keep breaking eggs in order to find it. So to get around this area, the player would have to distract the mystery critter by throwing eggs in the opposite direction. They would follow the sound of the egg crack and go investigate, and whilst the coast was clear, the player would then keep searching for the eggs. But every time they break one, it would alert the mystery critter, so they need to be careful when they break open the eggs. Eventually, it seems like they've broken every egg in this area, but they still don't have the key. Now what were they going to do? Maybe there was something they missed. They decide to head back to the exit and see if there was another way to open the door, but in order to do that, they need to sneak past a mystery critter. So the player would have to crawl through multiple air vents and choose the right time to get out into the open. If they get discovered by the mystery critter, it would chase them down until they found another safe spot to hide in again. Eventually, they make it back to the exit. They look around the door to see if there's any other way to open it. There just has to be. Whilst looking, they trip over the doormat. They look down and can't believe their eyes. The key was under the doormat this whole time. They take it and unlock the door. They walk through and make their way out of this area. Hopefully they don't run into another strange character like the mystery critter ever again. But knowing this factory, there's always something lurking around each corner. And as to what it'll be, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think the mystery critter would be quite an interesting character to include in the roster. The idea of them being multiple characters fused together is also quite creepy. There could be plenty of awesome new gameplay mechanics that could come with a mashup character like this. I definitely think their design is also interesting, and with multiple different mystery critters, their body could be mixed up and matched in multiple different ways. And as to which mystery critter is in control of the overall body is unknown. It could be all of them working together or just one creepy critter. But in the end, just like this character, that question will always remain a mystery. But now, after evading all those forgotten critters, they finally have a chance to make it back to the surface. But if it will be a sure thing is unknown. So the player has made it through the large locked door they found in the last video. They managed to sneak past the surprise critter and find the missing key. And now, after walking through a number of corridors, they come across something very promising. Finally, they have found a way back to the surface. This elevator must reach the upper levels. They were sure of it. They press the button and sure enough, it opens up. This was too good to be true, but there was only one way to find out where it goes. They hop in and patiently wait for the elevator to ascend. So far, so good. It seems they were going up pretty high. Before they know it, they'll be back to the surface in no time. As the player lets out a sigh of relief, it's quickly interrupted by a loud bang. Something has landed on top of the elevator. All of a sudden, a sharp mechanical hand stabs right through the metal ceiling. It was Bull Bullino. He's come back for revenge and won't let the player escape. His mechanical hand repeatedly stabs through the ceiling as the player tries to dodge the attacks. The elevator suddenly stops as it sparks and fills with smoke. The player needs to get out of here before the cables snap and they plummet back to the ground. They force open the door and quickly exit. As they do, the elevator quickly plummets back down to the depths with Bull Bullino on top. That was a close one. A moment later and they would have been done for. So now they're higher up than they were before, but unfortunately for the player, this still isn't the surface. And whatever this new area is, they were sure to find out soon enough.